Master Your Mindset Radio, Episode 120. Welcome to Master Your Mindset Radio, the show where we empower you to discover your true self before the world told you differently. Now for your host, Elizabeth Nader. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode. Is there something in your life that you're trying to achieve? Something that you're investing time in, something that you hope to be able to do, something that you're planning, a goal that you're setting, you're moving towards it. Do you recognize that one of the keys to success is visualization? And I think a lot of times people people forget how important visualization is. We can do so much to plan and do and make lists of things we need to achieve and check them off and just literally be in that mode of do, do, do when it comes to moving a goal forward, achieving things every day. But a lot of times I think we forget about the power of visualization. So there are times when we need to stop doing and start thinking and visualizing. When you started out with this goal, with this dream, with this idea, you started out with a visualization. You saw it in your head. You saw the end result. If you didn't, you wouldn't have a goal. You wouldn't have a dream. So you're already doing this. But what you don't recognize, I think, is along the way when you're trying to accomplish this and you're in that doing mode, you forget sometimes to take a break, to step back, to step away and visualize the outcome. And why is that so important? It's not some voodoo magic that if you just visualize it in your head, it happens. There's actually science behind it. There's actually proof that it makes a difference. I want to talk to you about why. I want you to have the idea in your head that visualization is a big part of achieving your goals. I want you to Remember that it's something that you need to practice, and here is why. I'm going to go through five steps that I think are very relevant, and I'll add some extra to this, but I was reading an article by Dr. Hamilton about this, Reasons You Should Visualize, and I want to add my own thoughts to it, but let me go through some of the most important reasons. The first thing is that it makes you feel empowered. It gives you the sense of inner empowerment because what you're doing is seeing a result. You're seeing a goal. You're seeing it happen in your mind. And as you take little steps towards it, you notice small changes in your life or you achieve certain things to move towards that goal, you feel empowered. You feel inner empowerment because you know that that's one step closer, one step closer to achieving it. So anything that we do that takes us closer to a goal, to closer to a green, a, a, I'm sorry, a dream, really re-energizes us and really begins to reaffirm our commitment to that goal and makes us feel empowered. And I have to ask you, would you rather sit down at your computer every day or whatever it is you do and feel empowered or feel like you're just exhausted and you're not making it work? Would you rather feel encouraged or defeated? Obviously, you want to be encouraged and empowered. You want to be all of that. So when you have a visualization that you're trying to achieve, when you have in your mind the end result, when you see it in all of its glory and you take steps towards it, you feel that you are empowered. You feel a sense of control, which is good. And your control, and what you're in control of is your attitude towards it, right? Nothing else but your attitude towards it, but that's a great feeling. So the feeling of empowerment is huge and it keeps you even in moments where maybe things don't go your way a certain day or you don't get an answer to something that you want in reference to reaching that goal, you, you still feel that sense of empowerment. Here's something that's really important about the reason why you need to uh, in, engage in visualization is the brain. And the neuroplasticity of the brain is fascinating. If, if I were to start over in life, if I were to go back in life and choosing careers, and I think I would spend more time studying the brain. I think it's incredibly underused. I think it's wildly powerful. And we don't even begin to understand the potential that we have in what God gave us. So neuroplasticity is real. It's the ability of the brain to, to, new, to, to learn new things, to be able to be flexible, to unlearn and learn. 
And one of the things that's amazing about it is that the brain doesn't distinguish real from imaginary. Now, they've researched this. How do they research this? Is that they study areas of the brain that are activated. So they have two people, one who actually does something. So let's say that person actually runs on the treadmill and they're studying how the brain reacts to that. And the other person sits in a chair and imagine, imagines running on the treadmill, imagines that running. The same area of the brain is activated. The same area of the brain undergoes actual physical change, which is a neuroplasticity, to the same degree, which is incredible because one person is actually doing the thing and experiencing the thing, and the other person is simply thinking about it. To me, that is incredible. You can harness that. You can harness that, especially when it comes to your health and when it comes to physical fitness, when it comes to sports or any kind of achievement like that. When you imagine in your mind where you're going to be, your brain believes over time that you're there and your body will follow. It's fascinating. And I think the same is true with any kind of goal. If you imagine the success of it, if you see it in its end result, and some of the details may change when you get there, but the more that you reinforce that in your mind that this is what's going to happen, the more that somehow everything around you will will sort of line up to make sure that thing happens, that your brain will not take no for an answer. Your brain will figure out how to get you there because it believes it's happening. It's just It just blows me away at how powerful our brain is. It, you, when you Just think about this. When you imagine living your dream, living that goal, experiencing that goal, living your dream, when you imagine it, imagine it right now, something that you want to achieve. Your brain right now is processing that as if it's actually happening. In fact, afterwards, to your brain, it's a memory. I mean, this is incredible. We could just spend hours and days and weeks and so much time just digging into that. Do you take advantage of that power that your brain has? Do you use that to your benefit? You probably don't. Think about that. Think about how powerful that is. Another part of visualization is it focuses you. So it focuses your mind on what you want. So the distractions of life and all the things that are happening, that has a tendency to take away your focus, right? But if you're constantly visualizing that end goal, that result on a regular basis, and especially if you set time aside each day to do that, you get more focused. And I think when you get more focused and you get more trained, you are more effective at what, as, at what you're doing. And you are more likely to move towards your goal, whatever goal that is, because you are focused. So visualization is a tool that helps you focus. And of course, the benefits of that, especially when it comes to health, think about this. Think about the fact that when we need to recover from an illness or an injury, visualization of us recovering is actually helping our body get there. So it's one thing to have a goal and achievement in business and life, whatever, financial, uh, with your career, whatever that is. But when it comes to your health, imagine yourself healed. Imagine yourself without that extra weight. Imagine yourself operating more effectively in a physical activity. Imagine yourself winning that game, whatever it is. Imagine that. And all of a sudden now, your body will find a way to make that happen. This is what's done, and I've talked about it before. It's done in sports. It's done at the Olympic level. All of these athletes visualize what they're doing. But you can do it just when it comes to everyday life. You can do it when it comes to any issue of your health. Anything in your life that you want to improve visualize it first. You're not calling in secret powers. All you're doing is setting your mind to it. You're deciding this is what I'm focusing on. And then you're finding a way to get there. And when it comes to your health, I really believe that your body responds to that, that your body will respond to the visualization of that health, that your brain is processing what you are imagining as real, and therefore you will achieve it. It's incredible. Now, having said all of these things, You have to believe in it. And that really is so incredibly important. It may be the placebo effect. uh, and, And if it is, great. It doesn't matter. You know what the placebo effect is. It doesn't matter if you believe in something. It's not the thing that you're believing in. It's your faith. It's the fact that you believe that brings it to pass, that makes it work. Because the actual belief changes your brain chemistry. 
and brings about changes, especially in your body when it comes to health, but also has a tendency to attract to you things in your life that will help you get to your goal. It's the belief. It's not the thing. It's the belief in it that changes your life. And we know this is true just from health studies, from placebo studies. And that's how powerful the brain is. That is incredibly amazing that we have a brain that can create a scenario that doesn't even exist and tell ourselves that it exists and react accordingly and therefore find ourselves there. It's pretty overwhelming when you think about it. Now, my last point to you is you don't have to be a great visualizer. It's, it's, not, it's not that every detail has to be there. You may have a clear visual, vi- visualization of the situation. You may have a vague picture. You may imagine it in different ways. However you do, just focus on it every day. Visualize. You know, maybe start your day and, and before you really get going, maybe just close your eyes and visualize what you want to achieve that day, what outcome you want to see. Short-term goals, long-term goals, business goals, health goals, goals financial goals, relationship goals visualize them coming to pass. And what will happen is that your brain will think that's going on and it will get you there. It will get you there how? Your body will respond to it in health situations. People around you will respond because you'll make different decisions because your brain is thinking, no, this is where we are. It will attract you the people that you need to reach your goal. It just changes everything. You become a positive person. You become empowered. You become someone who's focused. And when those things fall in place, other things fall in place. So it starts with visualizing it. We tell our kids all the time, see the end before the beginning. When you start something, see the end first. That's really visualization. That's really seeing where you want to be before you even start. And no matter what you have to do between now and then, keeping your eye on that outcome. Now, sometimes you may change the outcome. You may learn something along the way and you may alter what you're visualizing. That's fine. It's the intention that matters. If your mind is pointed towards you want, where you want to go, then you're doing it right. That's all you need to remember. I hope you can put this to use right away. Do it tomorrow morning when you wake up. Do it today. But start your day visualizing where you want to be. And while you're doing it, thank God. Literally thank him for achieving it. Have gratitude for the thing that you haven't seen come to pass yet, but that you're visualizing and that he will bring it into your life. Have a great week. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you for listening to Master Your Mindset Radio. Before you go, please visit elizabethnader.com to learn more about the Mindset Maven and how she is guiding high performers to map their mindset to their message so they can effectively express who they are and why their ideas should win. Looking forward to seeing you online.